For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today we're going to finally open up these things. These are the Kanto tins that came out recently. I've got three of them here. I actually have four. I got the Pikachu uh, that I'm doing with Lucas in a Father and Sunday video in the future. Did not find Charmander yet, so I figured well, there's no point in trying to save them all up and do them all in one video. We're just going to do three of them. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. So I want to stay optimistic about these things, but I've watched Darium open these and actually watched him live open this thing. And I have some problems with it. He has some problems with it. You probably already saw if you're a fan of both of those channels. These things are very flimsy. Very thin metal. Could be dangerous, as a matter of fact, to smaller children. I mean, look how look how, uh, how destroyed this one already is. I mean, you can crush it in one hand if you wanted to. I'm trying not to because I don't want to destroy it any more than it already is. Uh, just because it is kind of a neat-looking tin. And... You know, you got this cool artwork on the bottom. This is how it all looks when you put these cards together as well. Like, you get the card that corresponds with the one that you uh, open up. Like, there's the Squirtle and Magikarp one. Charmander has it there. Eevee and Chansey are there. Magnemite and Pikachu. And then the Bulbasaur one. And it creates a nice little collage. But very thin pot metal... Pot, tin pot... Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Just... Yeah. It could, they could be very dangerous for kids if they crunch this up. It creates sharp edges, and you can get cut on it, and it's, yeah. It's a neat idea, but they could have done a little bit better job with that, I feel like. So in these, you get two packs of cards. Uh, Fates Collide and Burning Shadows. A little card here to create a, a little mural with. Kind of reminiscent of the, um, uh, what is that, the Southern Island Collection, where cards made a mural together, you know? You can see the whole mural here as well. Kind of a neat idea, but again, I just feel like there was such a low budget on it that eh, could have been done better. That's just my opinion. But we got a Genesect coin here. Uh, lots of extra coins I'm sure they have to recycle, so they threw that one in there. And then we got this. At least if you have a Burning Shadows pack. I mean, you got a chance at pulling one of the most expensive cards in modern TCG right now, which is the Rainbow Rare Charizard, which is pretty neat. But other than that, eh, I mean, is it really worth $8.99? Not really. So, that's just my opinion, though. First one here we have is Snubble. We got a Deerling, Riolu, Jigglypuff, Carbink, Zygarde, Chaos Tower, Shuckle, Whimsicott, and a Mew, which at one point was a pretty darn good card. Mew was uh, in a couple of decks, as a matter of fact, back in its time. So, that's pretty neat. All right. Well, all we can do is hope. I mean, if we get a Hyper Rare Charizard, I ain't even taking back everything I said about all of these things, because if there's a Hyper Rare Charizard in one of these, that would be insane. Uh, three, one, and two. I'm doing it upside down, and I don't know why. We got a Panseer, Charmander, Alolan Rattata, Porygon, Panpour. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Double Monkey. Oh, no. Please don't be a triple. Okay, good. Don't like the Gen 5 monkeys, but Grookey's okay, though. I like Grookey. And a Persian for the rare out of that one. So that's it for the first ten. Let's do Eevee and Chansey next, and then we'll wrap it up with Bulbasaur. This one actually is in really good shape. Uh, this one didn't break or bend or whatever uh, so far. Different uh, coin in this one. We got an Alolan Raichu coin. Pretty cute. And then this one, of course, gets you your Chansey and Eevee portion. So that's two that you get to see there. You get part of Chansey. You get like three quarters or 80 per well, you get about 80% of a Chansey. You got to get the other 20% in uh, <laughs> Pikachu and Magnemite. <laughs> All right. So another Fates Collide and Burning Shadows. Kind of an interesting pack arrangement. Fates Collide and Burning Shadows. They don't really have anything to do with each other. They're pretty far apart in sets, but... All right, then. Three and two. All right, so our first pack here, we have a Burmy, Larvitar, Bronzor, Minchino. I missed a card there, but we do have a Snubble. We got a Loudred, Dugong, Pupitar, Riolu Reverse, and a Reuniclus that's very miscut. Very, very, very miscut. A lot of yellow border here. Very little yellow border there. All right. Um, 
that one out of the way. We'll put this one over here and Burning Shadows. Can we do it? Can we pull off the nearly impossible? We'll start off with a monkey. Three, water energy. All right, monkey. Oh no, double monkey and an Esper. <laughs> Three channel memes in one. Oh man, and oh no, another monkey. Oh geez, that is a monkey pack for sure. Rabambi and a Mudsdale, so nothing good out of those two packs. But Esper, I mean, six points. And triple monkeys. <laughs> oh man, these Gen 5 monkeys. Gen 5 monkeys everywhere. All right, Bulbasaur is the last tin here. Let's get the plastic off of that. I'm literally putting all the trash in my pocket, which is overflowing with garbage now. <laughs> Another Genesect coin. So double Genesect. And one Alolan Raichu. In this one, we have Bulbasaur all by its lonesome there. So that's the first portion of that mural. So the only ones that are missing are Pikachu and Charmander, the two middle technical... Technically, I guess, two middle pieces. Um, that one is uh, Pikachu sitting up there waiting for Lucas to open up with me for Father and Sunday. But uh, Charmander could not find. Somebody grabbed all the Charmanders out of GameStop and Target both. All right, let's do Fates Collide. And that pack disintegrated in my hand. Always fun when that happens. Okay, three and two. All right, so we have a Burmy, Carbink, Larvitar, Diglett, Mincino, Dome Fossil, Kabuto, Altaria, Spirit Link, and Bent Spoon. That's a lot of trainers in a row. Three in a row. Reverse Hollow is a Jigglypuff and a Rotom. Regular. Rare. So, so far, every one of these packs has been a miss. Except for one. Which was that Mew Hollow. Burning Shadows. Can it come through? One and two. Okay. So we got Porygon, Meryl, Hoot Hoot, Rhyhorn, Ralts, Potown, Ribombi. This is all miscut very badly. Curlia, Reverse Kingdra, and uh, <laughs> what the heck, man? This Ho-Oh is super, super miscut. There's no edge on this at all. It cut off right there up the line, and they have this thick silver border on this side. Oh man, Burning Shadows, why you do this to me? Like, this is as bad as this Potown. Potown's miscut on one side, and Ho-Oh is miscut on the other side. Wow. Well, we did get one Ultra Rare out of this, so there's that, I suppose. But uh, other than that, I don't really recommend these products, honestly. I mean, they're kind of cool, but for the most part, yeah, I don't think it's worth $8.99. That's just my opinion, though. I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm not going to tell you to buy something that I wouldn't buy myself. I bought it for the channel to open up for you guys, but uh, just not really my cup of tea. Oh, well. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully, you still enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, now you know what you're in for if you haven't seen these before. So there you go. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care and have a great day.